Hey, we really appreciate this effort, you know, all coming on here. And Peter really appreciates, you know, all of our support. What you say, Trace? What was that? Oh, yeah, sorry, I've just got something in my throat. Well, the whole point of today is that we want to try and get you better if we can. Yeah, we all do. Most of us. Can't you? Tracy, you're breaking up love, Bink. I think Tracy was just backing up what Daniel said. She's a Lying, cheating. Right. you're muted. Steve, she is the reason Peter's having this transplant in the first place. We, we, we can't hear you, Trace. We can't, we can't hear you. Uh, I think she might be on mute. Yeah, Tracy, you've muted yourself. You need to take yourself off mute. These same things are funny, aren't they? She was muted, sorry. Well, as you all know, in order to proceed to the next stage and get Peter on the transplant list, we need to make sure that everything's in place. Yeah, it is. Uh, well, I'm clean and I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm keeping an eye on him. He was keeping an eye on you. Sorry. Tracy, have you got a problem? But you've got to stop this. Steve, I am not going to keep quiet about what she's doing to my brother. Well, now's not the time to do it. What's up with her today? Uh, nothing, nothing. You know what Tracy's like. Sorry, sorry about this. Um, I suppose the important thing to know is that Peter is not drinking, you know, and for the most part, he's, he's got a very strong family unit supporting him. And have you discussed will be Peter's primary carer if he has the transplant? Yes, I'll be his carer. You only care about yourself. Tracy, well, you're butting it. You're not helping you. Oh, and were you helping when you were sleeping? Perhaps we should all just take a little break. And everyone have a little chat. Sort out your differences. So is there something going on here that I should know about? So is somebody going to explain to me what happened just then? I don't know. It's just Tracy being Tracy, isn't it? I mean, she's got a bee in a bonnet about something. About you, actually. Me? What have I done? We think that you're having an affair. We... What? I'm not having an affair. Why would you think that? You can hardly blame us for being suspicious. Daniel, you've done Daniel, recently. Stop. That's all been sorted out, OK? I trust her. Just leave it. Well, I went to the factory to speak to you this morning and you weren't there. So? That doesn't mean I'm having it away with someone. No, but that Lucas, he never showed up for his meeting with Sarah. Were you with him? No. You do believe me, don't you? I am not having an affair with Lucas or anybody else for that matter. Yes, I do believe you, but I also know you well enough to know that there's something else going on. So if it's not that, what is it? <sighs> Sarah, get Lucas's number, find out what's really going on. No, just wait, will you? I haven't been lying. I... The reason I've been sneaking around is to... because we... I've been sorting out our wedding. You're getting married? Well, we didn't want you to find out like this, but... Yeah, we're getting married, yeah. Are you sure that's a good idea in your condition? That's why we're doing it in secret. You know, just us, two random witnesses, just to take the stress out of it. Right. Well, then, I suppose congratulations are in order. Oh. <laughs> Does Simon know? No, not yet. I can't get hold of him. He'll be made up, though, I know that. Peter, there's something... I need to tell you. I didn't want to have to tell you today here, uh, but there's something you need to know about Sai. Okay. He's not on holiday, darling. He, he's he's had to go into hiding. How long have you known all this? Not long. Look, I didn't want to tell you. It. You've been too fragile. I don't want to worry you. Well, what kind of dad does that make me? You know, that you're too scared to tell me that my son's in trouble or he's gone into hiding in case I drink myself to death. It wasn't like that. Yes, it was like that. You know it was like that. I've let him down again. Don't be so hard on yourself. You've been ill. 
still are. No, I can't keep using that as an excuse anymore. Well, it's not an excuse, Peter. It's a reason. Right, OK. I need to get out of here. No, you can't do anything. Yeah, you've not had your test yet. He's right. That guy's going to be back here in a minute trying to sort everything out. You can't just walk out. I can't stay here, Carla, if my son is in trouble. The best thing that you can do is stay here and get your health sorted. No, I, how can I think about that when there might be people after my son? There must be... Is there a number I can call him on or something? There's not. OK, I've tried Leanne and Nick too. It's just... We've just got to wait. I know it's hard, but you just need to push Simon out of your head for the next few days. <sighs> Daniel's right. Peter, this is your last chance. You've just got to get on with it. You're going to be no good to Simon, are you? If you're dead from liver failure. How'd it go? Hey, well, you on the list? Uh, I don't know yet. So did you manage to find anything else out about Sai? Well, I managed to speak to Sarah when you were having your test done, and apparently Nick and Leanne have instructed their estate agent to take the stuff out of the flat. So where are they going to move to? Well, no one knows. So does that mean they might not be coming back? No, of course they're coming back. Nick owns half the factory, Simon's got college, their lives are here. Yeah, you know, once it's safe, of course they'll come back. You know, there are other flats, aren't there? Well, I hope it's sooner rather than later. Because if I don't get on this transplant list, I might never see him again.